Okay, Mordecai Lange. I don't think I'm saying his name correctly. How do you say it? Mordecai Taukololangi. That's how you say his name. I'll have to review that later. He goes by, he goes by his middle name, Taukolo. That's, that's what his mom Taukolo. calls him, yeah. Sometimes they call him Coco around the house. <laughs> Coco will be easier for everybody. Big Mo, I think. How did you find this guy? Well, I, um, you know, we've had uh, uh, different coaches and uh, former players from different places. Uh, you know, they've gone to Tonga uh, to do football, American football camp. And so Mone Angilau was uh, one that did a camp and also invited, uh, you know, uh, some coaches here from the States to go down there and uh, coach. They were able to send me photos of uh, the camps and also services they've done. And then I got this photo of this huge guy and I was on the phone, like, who is this guy? And supposedly they've sent the film out to, um, you know, some of the Pac-12 schools and of course us. And, uh, and so that was the year that uh, Coach Mendenhall has asked uh, myself and Coach Atuaya to make the effort to reach out to Fiji, Tonga, and uh, New Zealand to see if we can find some some players. And I did take a trip out there. Um, I did see the uh, Takolo, um, you know, there at the high school and and uh, you know some of their workout they did in the morning. And uh, very impressed with his feet for as big as he was. And obviously this message came from the other coaches that were there. And, uh, yeah, so I came back home. I sent all those information back to Coach Hall, and the kid was still in high school. He was still young, uh, you know, wanted to go on his uh, Mormon mission after he uh, after high school. So here he is, you know, two years later, you know, he's he's coming this way to go serve on his mission. So uh, it was nice of him to, you know, stop by here and an unofficial visit to, you know, the CBYU and so forth. So and that's that's how it all happened. So, so he's on a two-year mission in Phoenix. Uh, do you want people to feed him or lay off? <laughs> and I told him when I saw that, you know, 410 pounds, when he weighed in, I thought he was going to break our scale downstairs. <laughs> uh, but uh, in my mind, I, was, I said to him, hey, that's good you're going to Phoenix. It's hot over there during the summer. <laughs> yeah, you might burn some of that off. You know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he knows that he needs to work on that. We'd love to get him down to about 360, somewhere around okay. there. Thanks, Steve. Okay, thank you.